Okay. So guys, so they give us cosine of a. They want us to find the other five um, in terms of using that kind of triangle. Now, um, since they're telling us the cosine, we know this has to be a right triangle, so we, can, we don't need to like wonder if it's a right triangle. So they're basically asking us for sine of a. We obviously know cosine of a. Tangent of a. And then all the flipped ones. And again, so when I do this, right away I just write this. So I kind of have them matched up with the right. So even without drawing the triangle, I can do one of them. Which one do I know without even drawing the triangle? Sec A. Yeah, secant of A, so I can flip that over. That's 5 over 1 or just 5. So that one's easy. But now we still have four more to do. So I kind of gave a clue there. I said without drawing the triangle. So drawing a triangle is probably going to be helpful in this case, where I'm just going to sketch a right triangle. And again, you don't have to have like a perfect drawing. It's got to be right, obviously. Um, but our cosine, they told us which two sides. Adjacent and hypotenuse. So I'm going to call this angle A. So they've told me 1 and 5. Am I able to find the other side? Yeah. yeah, because it's a right triangle, and I knew it was a right triangle because I used cosine. You can only use sine, cosine, and tangent on right triangles. We can then um, figure out this side because of Pythagorean theorem. Careful, one squared is one, not um, two. Now, square root of 24, can that be simplified? Two? Yeah. Two, two squared root of six. Two squared root of six. Yeah. And again, if you're not great at the simplifying radicals, grab a calculator that does it for you, or I can show you how to do it by hand, it doesn't really matter, but two squared root of six is our um, opposite side now. Now that I know this, I should be able to do all my other trig ratios. And some of them I'll have to simplify a little bit. So opposite over hypotenuse. Is this one okay? Simplified? Yeah. On how do you measure calculator for that for you? I uh you're graphing one I don't believe does, if anyone did um, just then you can grab one of the yellow ones if you'd like. Out of my off my desk. Um, okay, is this okay the way it is? Yeah, because yeah, the denominator is not a radical and the two and five can't be simplified. <laughs> However, when we go over here to do our cosecant, we're gonna have to flip this over. And when we flip it over, then that one's not gonna be okay. So we're gonna have to multiply by yeah. Oh no. <laughs> he's he's trying. He is, I really think he's just like <laughs> He's trolling us. It's working. <laughs> Luke? Wait, get ready. Go? Get him, Luke! Get him, Luke.
Now, as much as you want to simplify this because that 6 and 12 are just like screaming to be simplified, you can't because the square root of 6 is underneath the root, and you can't pull any perfect squares out of that square root of 6. Okay? All right. The last question said, if we know the sine of theta is 0, what would you know then about cosecant? We disagree with you. Five. There we go. Why is it undefined? You can't divide by zero. Yeah, because technically sine of zero is zero over some number. We don't really know what the number is, nor do we care. So if sine is zero, cosecant is the flipped version of that. So that would be a number over zero. We have to flip it over. And so this would actually become undefined. Undefined. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, slope dude. Slope dude. Brings back memories. Yeah, like those. I did it.